Hey everybody, a bunch of months back I did a video on what do you need to start Airsoft and I got a lot of comments back and several people have asked me well what about pistols? You didn't mention pistols at all. So I figured you know what that'd be a good uh, way to start part two of uh, what do we need to start Airsoft with. Okay first and foremost no matter what you get get a face mask just like I said in the first video get a full face mask okay now as far as uh, airsoft pistols are concerned keep in mind a pistol whether you're playing airsoft or whether you're a soldier at war this is a secondary weapon this this is really should be your primary weapon so that being said if you plan on starting airsoft, you're not sure if you're going to like it or not, so you want to maybe just pick up a pistol instead of a rifle, a couple of things you have to consider. First off, is the place you're going to go to outdoor or indoor? If you're going to an outdoor range, then a pistol will not be a good first choice. If, however, you're going to go to some place that is an indoor range, then yes, a pistol could be your first, a, a first good choice for you. Now, a couple things, another thing I should say, a good airsoft pistol is going to cost you about the same as a good airsoft rifle. Now, you don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but a good base M4, let's say, should run you currently anywhere between $120, $140. A good airsoft pistol is going to be at least $100 for the pistol itself. Now, this is a KWA. Um, M M9. The reason why I chose this one is because this is the most realistic airsoft pistol as compared to M9 on the market currently. And that's what airsofters like. We like realism. Okay, this one drops the magazine out just like the real one. Has a safety, on-off safety on both sides. Slide open and a decocker. Okay, those are all the functions of a real M9. Now, as far as realistic action, airsofters like action. They like something that feels like, looks like the real thing. So you want to get a pistol that has a moving slide. Okay, so that simulates the movement of a real gun and gives you a little bit of recoil, not a lot. But it gives you some simulation. Now, hello. I'm gonna knock that over. Many airsoft guns are green gas or propane compatible. They have a little fill valve on the bottom, and basically you fill that up with gas. Now, here comes your choice. You can use a can of green gas, and a can of green gas cost anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars let's see uh, I, don't want to I want to show you where I got that from but uh, this cost me less than twenty dollars <laughs> this would last a bunch of magazines full but it's not as cost-effective as using a Coleman propane tank so okay this is fifteen dollars each time you buy one of these a propane tank will last you a bunch of times and this will cost you about two to four dollars but then you'll have to buy some sort of propane adapter that basically you screw on to the top of the propane tank so that you can fill up your mag the propane adapters cost anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars but you keep reusing them and then you go through two or three dollar or four dollar cans of propane okay so that's a more economical feature again uh, propane sort of stinks so make sure you're in a well ventilated area if you ever do that your other choice is to go with a CO2 pistol that uses these 0.12 gram CO2 cartridges now the only thing I'm going to say about that is to make sure that whatever your velocity is feet per second that it doesn't exceed the indoor range typically indoor feet per second is 350 for a pistol 
400 at the max, but typically 350 because indoor you're going to be closer to your enemy, so they're going to hurt more. So make sure if you if you decide to go with CO2 to make sure your pistol does not shoot more than 350. And remember, you want to get a pistol that the slide moves. Just 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 because it's more fun. So keep that in mind. Now I never really went CO2 before because there are issues with the seals and if you mess up putting in the cartridge in the magazine, then you can damage the magazine, damage an O-ring. Uh, so I, I found using silicone oil and propane or using green gas, probably green gas is the safest, as in least amount of maintenance and will last you probably the longest as, as far as your magazine is concerned. Because you don't have to worry about put, mixing in silicone oil for lubricate, lubricating the, the magazine and the O-rings and stuff. Propane isn't bad as long as you use lubricant. And there are ways to take these apart and pull the O-rings out and service them and put them back together if they ever get worn out or start to leak. And they're eventually all going to leak um, at one time or another. Actually, KWA ones, uh, I've had a bunch of these and they haven't leaked yet, so knock on wood. So, a gun like this, KWA runs about $150. You can find many, many different types of M9s, Glock style, 1911s, out there in the carment, out there for sale from KJW, KWA, ASC, I mean, a, a whole bunch. About 100, 110, 120, you know, and just decide which one you like and look for a sale, okay? And I hope this helps. But remember, only if you're going to shoot indoors would I even attempt to start playing without anything else but a handgun. Oh, and you do want to also pick up at least one extra magazine. These run anywhere from $20 to $40, depending on who, what, where, what size. Because once you start using the same magazine, it starts to get really cold. And you need to wait for it to warm up for it to propel the BB. Or it won't shoot as hard or you might damage the valve from from using it too many times over and over again so it's always good to have at least two magazines so that way when this runs out you grab the next one pop it in and then on the start of the next round you fill the BBs up and many times the magazine will work for more than one filling like these work for at least two so I fill up the mag once and I can load the BBs twice before I have to load the gas again okay I hope this helps Please uh, give me any comments, please subscribe, and until next time.